Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick recap on our three day rain total. So, uh, you know, might have not been the monster storm you were expecting, but two, three, four inches up in the Santa Cruz Mountains is pretty good uh, for a little midweek total there. Of course, there's more on the way about uh, three quarters to almost an inch down in Santa Cruz, third of an inch to about three quarters, almost an inch in Morgan Hill, three quarters there in Gilroy. So we keep adding to those uh, nice, healthy totals this year and a lot less in the valleys, but you would expect that just 0.06 here in Salinas and the peninsula got a good majority of their rain last night with a quarter to uh, nearly three quarters of an inch across most spots. So we did okay with that one. Not many issues down here. They were all up in Northern California and of course the Sierra, which is quieting down for the moment. Uh, so they're trying to again, widen those roadways like I 80 and 50 and 88 and try to keep them passable this weekend as more snow starts to arrive. Very low pressure way out here. This is your water vapor imagery. This is another atmospheric river, but it's not nearly the strength of the last one. So it'll just give us a real typical winter rain, uh, which will mean high snow levels because of all this moisture coming out of the tropics. You can see Honolulu way out there. Uh, so we have this combination of a lot of moisture in the atmosphere in an area of low pressure. So that'll give us a healthy dose of rain tomorrow night, but it's going to move through quickly, which we hope that continues to be the case because we don't want to get too much at any one point here. Future cast showing tomorrow will be mostly dry, but the clouds are coming in. So it's kind of a damp overcast day. And then by afternoon or early evening, a few showers start popping up by about four or five. But the main rain looks like it's going to be overnight, eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night. And then into the overnight period into basically Saturday morning. It's definitely uh, some showers left over on Saturday morning, but the rest of the day should start to feature less and less rain showers, although they'll still be around, it looks like, through about 6 p.m. But, you know, you probably could get out and do a few things Saturday in the outdoor realm, but it'll be better to do that on Sunday. Here's the way it looks in terms of the rain amounts. You're going to notice something you're seeing from Santa Cruz southward, actually, most of this rain. So good for our friends up in the North Bay. They're not going to get a whole lot out of this. You'll notice the Santa Lucia's are the big winners probably out of this next round, which is good. So these atmospheric rivers are coming in in different places along the coast. And that's good in terms of not them coming in over the same spots they did last week, uh, which, again, would be really problematic. But we're not talking about a lot of rain here, half an inch to an inch, you know, a couple inches probably up in the hills, which is, a, again, a pretty typical uh, event for us this time of year. Friday, a chance of rain late. Becoming breezy, though, there will be a, a bit of wind with this. And then Friday night, we have rain and wind overnight, so that's kind of the worst of it. And then Saturday, we're back to showers. Rain amounts, maybe an inch or two, and maybe three up in the Santa Lucia, so a little more in the hills, as they usually do. And coast and valleys, maybe a quarter to about an inch, so uh, that's a good little soaking rain. Upper 30s to middle 40s for us tonight, mostly cloudy. We'll keep the cool temps going and light winds. Tomorrow, we're going to start off in the low 40s early in the morning, uh, so it'll be chilly to start with the overcast moving in through the day. Temperatures by tomorrow afternoon, mid 50s to low 60s. We'll put a chance of rain in late in the day and becoming breezy. Your high temperatures right in the upper 50s to low 60s. Santa Cruz into Salinas about 63. So it's kind of mild even with the clouds coming in because the wind's coming out of the south and all this moisture is coming in from Hawaii, really. And your weekend, again, featuring those leftovers on Saturday. Sunday should be mostly dry. We'll give a slight chance, but I don't think we'll see much on Sunday. Monday should be dry with just kind of a break day. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, there could be something more significant. We're going to be watching to see where that comes in. That could be very problematic if it ends up hitting the North Bay. Indications are that it'll kind of be from about San Francisco southward. So we'll see how that plays out. 40s for the most part overnight. Nothing overly cold with all this tropical moisture streaming overhead and lots of cloud cover and lots of raindrops. But it's <laughs> not over <laughs> And more yet, snow for the for Sierra, sure. which we'll get into with high snow levels. It's not the amount of snow at this point that they're going to get. It's that the roads are so narrow. And right, they, they, they have they no place to put... get it over. They're actually, what they're doing is usually they plow and send it over both right. sides of the road. They can't do that. One side of the road's too steep, too much snow. So they got to actually take it all and push it over the side on the far side. So, so it's about twice the amount of yeah. time that it would normally take them. That's why 80 has been staying closed for so long. They can't just run the graders one direction. They got to do them twice. It's been an epic year in the Sierra. They're going to be talking Huge. about this for a long We're time. We're going to go skiing in June. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. We're going to have a case right. for W ski trip. <laughs> exactly.